हेलो पीप्स वेलकम टू सी पी डिक्ट आई होप एवरीबडी हु इज लिसनिंग टू मी इज फिट एंड फाइन एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वीड बी सॉल्विंग थ्री प्रॉब्लम्स विच रिसेंटली केम इन कॉन्टेस्ट विच वॉज हेल्ड ऑन कोर्ट फोर्सेज इट वॉज द राउंड नंबर वॉज सिक्स हंड्रेड सिक्सटी फाइव एंड इट वॉज फॉर डिविजन टू सो या लेट स्ट्रेट अवे जम्प ऑन टू दो थ्री प्रॉब्लम्स द फर्स्ट वन इज कॉल्ड डिस्टेंस एंड एक्सेस it says uh, we have a point a it it is on x axis it can and its coordinate is greater than or equal to 0 and we have the origin at o and we need to place point b in such a way that the dis- the difference between the distance between b to o minus the distance of b to a should be equal to k and I think it, it one thing that is not mentioned here explicitly is that we should be placing b in between zero and a. Now let me try to explain it using my draw uh, drawing pad. Yep. So we have zero here and a here. So we need we need to place b somewhere. Here we're not allowed to place it outside this range, and we have a k. Suppose we are putting b right here. So our aim here is to so that absolute of b minus zero minus a minus b is equal to k. So what it means is suppose this is x and this is y. So x plus y should be equal to k this is what we need to do also we can take absolute here as well if, if there are some corner cases yeah so i hope you got uh, you have understood you have understand this uh, problem so there are two cases because we have zero here and a at this point and suppose its coordinate is x comma 0 there are two two cases where k is greater than x and the second one is k is less than equal to x for this case one what we what we simply need to do is shift a to its right side to distance k minus x suppose x is 5 and k is 7 then we need to shift a to right by two units so if we place a right here which is at 7 0 and our aim a here is to uh, make k equal to 7 so we have two choices for b either we can put b here or either we can put b here if we had put b at this point then the uh, distance between b to o would be 0 and distance between b to a is 7 so that is equal to 7 and if we had put b here then distance between b to o is 7 and distance between b to a is 0 and it turns out the uh, absolute difference between Yeah, here also we need to take the absolute value, and then to the minus here it is seven. So we have two choices in this case. So this is for the case one. Now let's see what we need to do in case two. Case two is uh, when k is less than equal to x. X is like coordinate of a. Because we have a here, and it is let's say it is eight, and in so now there is a one observation which we need to focus right here. If k is between uh, k is uh, lesser than x, so what we need to do? We need to place b in between. a and 0 and the then the value of value of k 
can only be even suppose we, we had put b here then k would be 8 if we had put b at 1 then the value of uh, value of k would be 1 1 minus 7 and we will take the mode of it it is 6 and if we had put b right here then the value of k would be 2 minus 6 and we will be taking the absolute value of this it, it is 4 and if we keep on doing it suppose and if we had put b at 7 then the value of k would be uh, 7 minus 1 and if we take the mode is equal to 6 so what we see is if we had put if the coordinate of a is at even position and if we are putting b in between 0 and a k can only be even like 0 2 4 6 8 so we can have uh, we can uh, achieve or obtain any of these values so if uh, a's coordinate is even and also k is also even then the output would be 0 because we can have achieve any of this but if k is e if uh, a is even but k is k is odd in that case we need to shift a to right by one unit let's see we will be putting at 9 and if suppose we want to achieve 5 then what we would be doing is uh, for 5 that is uh, 7 minus 2 yep so we we can put b at 7 if we want to achieve 5 like if the value of k is 5 then the absolute difference will be 7 minus and the distance between b and a is 2 we take the mode of it that is equal to 5 so so answer would only be answer can either be 0 or 1 in this case but even this has two cases if uh, x is even and if x is odd and inside this also we have two cases if k is even and k is odd and here as well k even and k odd if if uh, k and x are both of the same parity that is even even or odd odd the answer would be zero so 0 and 0 and for other cases the answer would be 1 I have explained this case when x is even and k is odd similarly you can analyze the other case when x is odd and k is even the answer would be 1 in this case so these are the cases which we need to consider in problem A now let's look at the code I just simulated what I just said. It is uh, nothing than that. Yep. So I've taken n and k, and if k is greater than n, answer would be just k minus n, and we would be shifting a to its right by k minus n units and in other uh, other cases when k is less than or equal to n if both of them are odd the answer is 0 otherwise 1 and if both of them are even the answer is 0 otherwise 1 so yes this is it for this video in the next video i will be coming up with the solution of problem b yeah, thanks a lot for watching take care see you in the next video